Hey guys, so I've got a new tutorial today, and this is what somebody suggested about wanting a sort of fade in um, between the scenes. So you initially start a scene, and it fades in from say a, a black background. Now this is going to be a you know a really basic way, and all I'm going to use is a plane. So it's a bit of you know just a bit of trickery really. Um, so all I've done is I've got a plane and what I've done is created a black material and you can do that by saying right click create material and once you've created material you want to just set the diffuse to black and then you want to set the shader to transparent diffuse and also, yeah, and just make sure it's black and then what I've done is I've selected my main camera and I've positioned it you know just slightly in front of the camera so in the camera preview you can see that it's totally black um, and then I've just parented it to the camera so we know that it's always in front of the camera no matter where it moves now um, the person who suggested it wanted to actually make sure that you couldn't move or you couldn't look around until the fade has ended so I've added that to the script you don't have to you could run around while it's fading in but it doesn't really matter so we'll start off and as long as you've got all that going we'll start off by writing a script so you can create a new JavaScript and call this fade script or whatever you like really then we'll open up in mono develop and what we'll do is we'll write a variable called timer set as type float equal to 10.0 and then I'll just make sure that I set the start and update function just um, arrange those brackets then at the start I want to say renderer dot material dot color dot a is equal to one so that just means the renderer so the material on the renderer and the color of the alpha is set to one and you set the alpha between naught and one and one means you know fully 100% um, visible like we're doing seeing the scene now and zero being you know totally invisible so now we're going to actually disable the elements that we don't want to be able to use so we'll say game object dot find open brackets um, quotes first person controller and um, close that up say dot get component open brackets FPS input controller oops input controller close that up dot enabled equals false and then what we're going to do is copy this two more times and then leave um, the FPS control on one and then rename this one this last one to main camera because we've got a mouse lock on both the FPS controller and the main camera so then what we'll do is change that get component to mouse lock and then what we can do is copy that same one and paste it below so actually both of our mouse looks get disabled so we can't look around anymore and then we won't be able to move now within the update function what we're going to say is timer equals timer minus time dot time dot delta time and then put a quote so that means it'll count down from whatever timer is equal to initially then we'll say if timer is greater than or equal to zero then we'll add two curly brackets below and say that renderer dot material dot color dot a like we did at the top is minus equal to 0 0.1 times by time dot delta time so that just means we're set we're taking the alpha down by 0 0.1 every second that we move in uh, delta time and then what we want to say is if timer is less than or equal to zero then we'll close that up and add two curly brackets below and say that timer is equal to zero and then what we'll do is copy these three at the top and then below there I'll just space these out a little bit then what we want to say is that these then equal to true so then we can run around and do anything we want to do so once these are all set to true that's good we'll save that out and maybe one last thing you'll want to do is write destroy 
and then game object with a lowercase g and that just means it'll destroy the plane after we've used it so you know it's not in the scene and doing some stuff or you know taxing the um, computer for any in any way so what we'll do is we'll minimize that and then from the fade script we'll add that to our plane and then you'll notice that the timer is 10 seconds now if you watch my screen when I press play and you watch I won't be able to uh, move about so I'm trying to move and I'm trying to look with my mouse it's not doing anything as you can see the timer's counting down and you can see the opacity fade in that little white bar below and as we come back then we'll actually be able to run around and do as we would um, now obviously you've got to be careful that counts down for 10 seconds and decreases the opacity by a small amount obviously if you want to make this quicker you can set that to timer equal to 5 and then change the um, countdown to 0 0.2 and it'll just make it you know two sets of opacity for every second that we've got um, so you know it just depends how you want to um, do it and make sure if your plane is too big and you've still got the mesh um, collider on it um, it'll make you jump about and stuff so you can either delete the um, mesh collider or the box collider whatever you might have on your object in front of your camera or you can just make it smaller so when it touches the ground it doesn't knock you can, yeah, your player about um, so that's pretty much it that's just the entirety of the script it just all it does is sets the alpha material then we disable all the components we count down a certain amount of alpha every second and then we re-enable um, you know the player to do whatever it wants needs to do so that's pretty much it and you can see it there the fade in to the scene thanks very much for watching if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers